so far when we've described a solution to an equation in two variables, we've had to say something like this. The pair a equals 5, b equals negative 2 is a solution to the equation 2a plus 3b equals 4. That's fine, but we would like a simpler way to state that solution. And our simpler way of stating the solution is as an ordered pair. We can rephrase this as AB equals 5 negative 2 is a solution to 2A plus 3B equals 4. The advantage here is that this notation makes it clear that we're talking about just one solution, even though it consists of two numbers. In this problem, the pair 5, negative 2 is called an ordered pair. Why ordered? Well, because it's important that the 5 comes first and the negative 2 comes second. By writing AB equals 5, negative 2, we make it clear that the first number is a value of A and the second number is a value of B. There are some conventions that we use in order to not always have to write the ordered pair of the variables first. If the variables are called x and y, then the ordered pair is x first, then y. So for example, the pair 2 comma 4 is a solution to the equation y equals 5x minus 6 because if I plug in 4 for y and 2 for x, that's really true. 4 does equal 5 times 2 minus 6. The independent variable is always the first number in the ordered pair. That gives us two pieces of information. That means that in our first example, by saying that A comes first, we say that A is the independent variable, right? By saying that I'm going to write my ordered pairs A comma B, I'm telling you that I'm seeing A as the independent variable. But also, if it's obvious which variable is independent, that variable will come first in ordered pairs.